hey guys welcome back to another diy tutorial so in today's video is um the making of a basic slip pattern okay you know i haven't tricked that on my channel and um, i just realized that i have some projects that i'm working on okay which i need uh, the slip on it and i want to show you guys how to do it and i cannot show you guys how to make that dress without you know how to draft a slip pattern okay so in case if you don't know how to draft a sleeve a basic slip pattern this video is for you i'm going to be quick and also going to be details for you to understand how to draft a basic slip pattern okay so in still this video i'm going to alter it to the sleeve that i'm going to use for this jacket that you're seeing okay so i'm going to show you how to go about that so if this is something that you're interested on, keep on watching this video. If you're new to my channel, you are highly welcome. And if you're my returning subscriber, also thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you all of you, new or old. So if you're new to my channel and you're yet to subscribe to my channel, uh, kindly subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notification, okay? So that you will get notified when another video will be dropping, okay? So and help me share this video if you enjoy watching this video please give the video a thumbs up okay and leave your comment below let me know what you think and before i forgot if you haven't seen the tutorial for this palazzo pant go and check it out it's really detailed and you will enjoy watching it okay so yeah um and that's all so we are going to go into the tutorial now we are going to go into the cutting table now so that we can start drafting our sleep pattern okay yeah see you okay guys so let's get started so the first thing you will need is your pattern paper and if you're drafting direct to the fabric you will need your fabric okay so once you get your fabric the next thing you do is to fold your fabric into two so that you can start drafting your your sleeves okay so i have my pattern paper here i have gone ahead to fold it into two so the next thing i'm going to do here is to create the starting point which is going to become my shoulder joining or shoulder tip okay so now that i've drawn the starting point the the next thing i will do is to start uh, marking my uh, cap height my slip cap height so i'm going to place my tail from my shoulder join in there and i will be marking 4.5 inch inches for my slip cap height okay for a small size person you can use a 4.5 or you can also use 5 inches for for a plus size above 5.5 to 6 inches okay so right now i'm going to connect this draw this line to create my sleeve cap height okay the next thing i will do from my shoulder joining here that is the starting point i will be taking down my elbow line so from my shoulder to my elbow i'm going to be marking 13 inches okay so i'm going to repeat this measurement twice so here is my 13 inches i will be repeating this measurement twice so i will have a straight line okay so afterward i'm going to connect it with a straight line So the next i will be taking my sleeve length okay so from my tip of the shoulder or from my shoulder joint to my sleeve length is going to be 21 inches so here is my 21 inches there and i will repeat the line twice so that i will have a straight line connecting my sleeve length So now, now that I'm done with the um, vertical measurement, the next thing we are going to work on the horizontal measurement, okay? So I will be coming to my to my cap height line, uh, line here, okay? I will divide my bicep, okay? My round bicep into two. Mine is, um, mine is 12 inches. I'm going to divide it by, uh, by two, and then I will add 1.5 inches for ease allowance and the swing allowance, okay? so i'm going to be adding 1.5 inches to that now so the next thing i'm going to do here i'm going to from this point here as you can see i place my my straight ruler 
uh, slightly like that okay and i connect it so so to create my arm hook off i'm going to find the midpoint okay i'll be finding the midpoint between this point here and to this end okay see the way i place my tape and then i'll fold my tape backward like that okay so to find the midpoint okay so once i find the midpoint of it i will just mark it right here so whatever number that gives you mark it at this point so now that i'm done marking here i will get my french curve rule the curvy part okay i will place it like this and then i'm going to connect it from that midpoint back to the edges here okay and then i'm going to turn it again make sure that you connect the curve it has to connect it to mash together to that center uh, to that midpoint just like this okay so now that i'm done from this part now the next thing i will do is to work on my elbow so to find out the my round circumference of my elbow my round circumference of my elbow is 12 i will divide it by two so i have six inches right here and then my ribs is eight divided by two is um is four inches okay so i just mark the four inches there so for every measurement that i mark here i add 0 0.5 inch for each allowance okay so my round elbow is uh is 11 okay so i add 0 0.5 inch for all the measurements so it's supposed to be uh 5.5 .5, so i added 0 0.5 inch for all of them from the elbow to my ribs okay so afterward i just connect it like this so basically this is my basic uh, uh this is my sleep basic pattern okay so at this point now you can now use this pattern to create any style of sleeves that you want so i'm going to level this one long sleeves okay so if you want to make a short sleeve you'll get your short sleeve from here but today i'm not going to treat that part in my next tutorial maybe in future i will be showing you how to draft a short sleeve pattern but today we are working on the long sleeves okay so now that i'm done from this uh with here uh, if I'm not doing anything with the sleeve, I will just leave it like this. So what I will do, I'm just going to add my sewing allowance or my folding allowance from the hemming or the hemming allowance. 0 0.5 inch for hemming allowance, okay? And I will connect it in this way. But just because I'm going to be using the same sleeves to create the uh, sleeve for the project I'm working on, um, I'm going to do some modification, okay? So right now, remember I fold my fabric. So this also is going to give me the privilege to get the sleeve that I'm going to be using. So this is my sleeve basic pattern. So I will modify it to the A-line shape that I'm going to use for my next project. So right here is the next project I'm working on. As you can see, the sleeve, it has uh, like an A-line shape, right? So now I'm going to come to the lower part here, okay? I mark uh, four inches from that part and um, I'm also going to increase the sleeve length okay if you notice very well you notice that the sleeve is longer than the measurement that I took for my initial uh, normal sleeve length so I will be adding um three inch uh, three inches to that measurement that is the length I will be increasing it with three inches and then the sleeve opening I'm going to increase it with two inches okay so I added extra two inches to that four inches so that make it uh, six inches for my sleeve opening okay so the next thing i will do now i will connect the straight line from here all the way to me to where my uh, sleeve cap height is a uh, cap height line okay so yes i hope you understand this so i'm going to level this my new sleeve uh, yeah this is my new sleeve okay so since the fabric the pattern is on fold as the pattern is on fold I'm going to uh, cut, I'm going to get my the modification sleeve out and also my basic sleeve pattern, I'm still going to get it, okay? So the modification sleeve, I'm calling that A-line sleeves. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to cut, cut it. I'm cutting from the new uh, sleeve line, okay? Not from the, the basic sleeve pattern, okay? So, and also remember to add 0 0.5 inch joining allowance from your sleeve so that you can join it back to the bodice so now that i'm done i'm going to open it so that i can uh, cut 
divide it into two to get my basic sleeve pattern and also my A-line uh, shape pattern, uh, sleeve, okay? So this is my A-line shape, the one with that uh, right, right up, okay? So the one we write, write up, I'm going to be cutting it out so that I can get my basic slip pattern, okay? So I hope you understand this explanation. I hope uh, you you follow up. So the next thing I will do now, I will just trim up this part here, okay? I'm cutting out this one to, to get my basic slip pattern, okay? So I have my two slip uh, ready here. There is two slip here, but different. Uh, pattern okay so i have a, a basic sleeve pattern and i have an a-line uh, sleeve pattern here okay so i will be using the a-line sleeve pattern to, to to work on the next project that I'm, I'm working on okay or the next tutorial that will be dropping okay so yeah so i hope you enjoy watching this video i hope you learn something if you do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up help me share the video and uh, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you get notified when another tutorial will be dropping, okay? So I will see you on my next video.